And after school programs and science museums, as wonderful as they are, can't do enough. Everybody in society has to join in with this appreciation game. And that's why I think partnerships, as difficult and painful and expensive as they are, are really unavoidable. We've got to form them. And the best ones actually are incredibly rewarding. When you build a long-term partnership with someone and you develop a respect, you develop a caring for each other, you develop the ability to go to them when, you're, when you need something and ask for help, and they do the same for you, it can really transform the nature of any organization, large or small. So there is an inherent value to partnerships that makes them worth the while. But the argument I'm making is without large scale partnerships across all sectors, we'll never get this job done. And what will this country, what will the world be like in 25 or 50 years if, if we decide that things that science tells us that are uncomfortable, like uh, global warming and emergent viruses, uh, we just ignore that because it's expensive to deal with and we'd rather do, think about other things. Uh, what's going to happen to us? So I think partnerships and networking are no longer a nice thing to do to be communal. They're no longer um, a little too expensive to engage in. They are essentials. Uh, I know from just the, the, the six or seven hours that this conference has been meeting, there's lots of networking. I've got a pocket full of cards. Um, I've heard already many interesting things that I think some of the other people I work with would like to hear about. Uh, this again isn't just a nice thing to do once a year. I think this is part of salvation. So thank you all and thanks to our host in Science City for letting us enjoy this marvelous space.